I'm going to show you how to bone out a chicken. It's one of the first jobs I did when I was training as a chef in college. When you get a full chicken, it's full of flavour, but also it makes sense money-wise. You actually save money rather than buying all the different joints. Very, very easy. You need a good bone knife, good sharp bone knife. First thing I do is take off the legs. So what you do is bring the leg towards you and just going in between the leg and the breast and just using a good bone knife and just snap it. Now it's so easy to do this at home, but you can go to your local butcher and they'll very, very happily do that for you. So that's one of the legs off. Next, turn it over. And again, the same process. So you work the knife away from yourself. So that's your two legs taken off. Now I'm gonna take off the breasts. So first thing we need to do is to remove the wishbone. And this is probably the trickiest part of this. So just either side of the wishbone Using the point of the knife, you hold it, pull back the skin a little bit, and then just be careful you don't nick yourself. And then pull that. That's it there. This just makes the breasts easier to come off. So stretching the skin, going along the backbone, and then just pulling the meat off the bone. And of course, with the chicken carcass, you can make stock from it. So you're utilizing every single part of the chicken. Just cut through where the wing meets the carcass. So that's the first breast. Then the same for the other one. And then just work the knife away. And just take your time when you're doing this. Good sharp knife is so invaluable. So don't throw that, you can freeze it, you can roast it and put it in some vegetables and some water. You have the most beautiful stock. Going to cut into four portions. So what everyone's going to get a portion of the leg and also some of the breast. So just the breast in half. So you, one with the winglet and just sit that there. And the same for the other one. And I love even the wings of chicken, which are lovely in a barbecue sauce. We regularly have that, you know, in the restaurant for the staff. They love it. Going to just cut. This is the thigh of the chicken and this is the drumstick. So just there's a little joint in there and just feel it with your finger. And then what you do is split it. So that's the drumstick. And what I like to do in the restaurant is to showcase the chicken. And we call it a three of chicken. So this is the, the thigh here. And also what I do with the chicken thighs is wrap them in bacon and cook them in a casserole with the drumstick and the breast. With some butternut squash, a little bit of onion, garlic, thyme, and a little bit of cider, Irish cider. It's absolutely delicious. So that's your portions from a full chicken. You get four portions, two drumsticks, two thighs, and two breasts and then two with the winglets. So it's very easy to do at home. Makes economic sense and it's absolutely delicious. And remember, always choose food with the Board Bia quality mark so that you know where your food comes from. The quality mark is your guarantee that it's been produced to the highest Board Bia standards.